Hey, what's up? It's Nathan Williams with Crazy Marketing. Now this video right here is a compilation of several videos that help make up the course that you're taking right now. Now to help you navigate through everything, I've provided timestamps down below in the description. So I recommend going, check out those timestamps, watching what's relevant to you. Let's get into it. In this video, we're gonna talk about what ActiveCampaign is, and then we're gonna go ahead and register for an account. So ActiveCampaign is a marketing automation tool. And what that means is that it's a tool that helps you automate your email, your text messaging, and third-party integrations. And these third-party integrations are typically handled via a webhook. And that's just like a fancy word to say that ActiveCampaign will pass information to another piece of software or another tool. And typically you'll integrate with a tool called Zapier. And we'll, we'll have another lesson on that later on. But third-party integrations include things like Reamless Voicemail, Direct Mail, Membership Portals, etc. Very, very flexible and adaptable, a lot of options. So why ActiveCampaign? Well, in my opinion and many other people's opinions, ActiveCampaign is the most powerful marketing automation tool at this price point. So there's probably some more powerful tools out there, but you're gonna be spending 100, 200, a few thousand dollars a month uh, but Active Campaign is very affordable. It can be used for the solo entrepreneur or small businesses, and you can afford it. And it's very powerful, flexible, adaptable, etc. So it's a great tool. And so some of that power is the advanced automation features like if else statements, goals, message variables, and split tests. And we're gonna cover this later on in the course. There's also tagging capabilities for advanced segmentation. There's site and event tracking, so you can watch how people behave on your website and how they're interacting with your business. You can see what pages they're looking at, and you can trigger emails based off of whatever they're looking at. So pretty powerful stuff right there. They also offer a CRM solution, or customer relationship management solution, and this is more for businesses that are like hands-on with people, like they're calling people, they're emailing people, they're, they're personally talking to people, and they're usually bringing people through a sales process of some sort. So if your business is real hands-on with clients and customers, then ActiveCampaign CRM solution could be really awesome for you. And we have a module on the CRM solution, so you'll be able to check that out. And so let's talk about the plan you're gonna need for this course. You either need the light plan, and that's what I typically recommend people start with is the light plan, as it includes like 90% of the features except for the CRM solution. So pretty much everything inside of this course beyond the CRM solution is gonna be able to be achieved with the light plan. Now, if you want the CRM solution, you're gonna to need to upgrade to the pro plan. And of course, it's a little bit more expensive, but if you need a CRM, well, it's right there and available to you. So now let's head over to Active Campaign and sign up for an account. So here we are on activecampaign.com and I'll have a link down below. Uh, and you can go ahead and read through what it's about if you want to, but really, I mean, the course is gonna explain exactly what it's about and they offer a 14 day free trial. So might as well give it a shot, right? So let's go over to pricing real quick so I can show you the pricing options. So they have the plans right here, light, and I actually spelled it incorrectly on my slide over here. I spelled it L-I-G-H-T, but it's L-I-T-E. Sorry about that. So we got the light plan, plus plan, professional enterprise, and I would say 99% of you are just gonna need this light plan. And if you need the CRM solution, you're gonna go with this plus plan. And so as you can see, the light plan's $9 a month when paid yearly for 500 contacts. If you pay monthly, it's $15 a month, very affordable. And as you get more subscribers, of course, it goes up in price. So that's how Active Campaign handles their pricing based off of what plan you have and then how many contacts you have and then if you're paying monthly or yearly. And as a side note, for some reason, Active Campaign will kind of like hide this light plan sometimes. And they're gonna have like a little link down here that's like, would you like to try our light plan? And if you click that, it'll pop out the, the payment options. So if for some reason you're not seeing the light plan, look for a link over here in the bottom left-hand corner and you can click that and you should be able to get the light plan. Now I'm gonna sign up for the plus plan because as part of this course, we're gonna set up the CRM. But again, if you don't need a CRM solution, you'll be able to skip that part of the course and just do everything with the light plan. So if you click sign up now, it's gonna take you to an order form where you enter your payment information. But if you wanna do the free trial first, you do this try it for free button. So I recommend starting with the free trial. Might as well get you know 14 days free and then you can go ahead and give Active Campaign your money. So might as well go free first. So we'll do try it for free and try it for free, no credit card required, 14 day free trial. So plug in your email address 
and create an account. And then we walk through the process here, pretty simple self-explanatory stuff and about your business. Doesn't really matter what you enter here. This is just for their information. It's not gonna change how your active campaign account performs. So it doesn't really matter what you sent, enter in there. Yeah, okay, I wanna do build and send emails, cool. Uh, integrations, not gonna worry about that. And then we go ahead and set up our password and take me to my account. And so now we're taken into the Active Campaign dashboard and I'm gonna walk you through it in another video. But before we do that, I wanna show you something. So if you do the free trial, Active Campaign is gonna sign you up for their pro plan. So that's that $50 a month plan that includes the CRM solution. And if you don't need the CRM solution, you're gonna to wanna to downgrade before they charge you, you know, $50. So to do that, you'd wanna come into your profile here and go to billing and upgrade. And it has this on the free trial plan, which actually equates to the plus plan once your free trial is over. Uh, so if you wanna downgrade to the light plan, you click the light plan link right here, and you can select monthly or paying yearly, change the amount of contacts you have, and then you can get that light plan pricing. Now when you upgrade your account, it's going to charge you at that point. So if you wanna take advantage of the full 14 days, you're gonna use your trial account for those 14 days or 13 days, and then on day 14, you'll come in here and you'll go ahead and upgrade to a paid account. So I just wanted to point that out to you real quick. If you do take the trial, it's gonna start you on that plus plan. And if you don't want the plus plan, you're gonna to need to come in here before your 14 day free trial is up and go to the billing settings and change it to the light plan. All right, so hopefully that is clear and no one's left paying for the pro plan even though they don't need it. Hey, I hope you're enjoying the training. Real quick, I have a special offer that I wanna to present to you where you can get a digital copy of my book as well as an audio copy. Plus I'm giving away 20 pre-written emails that make your email writing a piece of cake. And finally, I have a seven figure funnel. It's the first funnel that I built that generated over seven figures for a small business. And it includes training on how to actually set up the funnel. If you're interested in that, plus several other bonuses, link in the description down below, or there'll be a link in the little box up above here. So if you're interested, check it out. Back to the training. In this video, we're gonna discuss the Active Campaign dashboard. Now it is pretty intuitive, so you'll probably get the hang of it pretty quickly, but I just wanna walk through it with you real quick so that way you have an idea of how it all works. So this is the main page you land on, and this is like the dashboard. So you could go ahead and customize it to add the information that you wanna track like through your account. So like all contacts, contact trend, uh, the campaigns and how they're progressing, automations, things of that nature. You can go ahead and you know drag and drop things around, delete things off of here if you don't need them, and so on. So pretty simple, self-explanatory. On the right-hand side, we have recent activity. Now this is what I always look at because it shows you who's subscribing, who's unsubscribing, who's opening emails, who's clicking on emails, et cetera. So it's kind of cool to see like a live stream of what's going on inside of your active campaign account. Now on the left hand side we have our navigation menu. Uh, the first thing we have is search and you can use this to search for people. So you come in here, plug someone's email address in here and load up their profile right away, nice and quick so you don't have to go try and dig around trying to find these people. And then we have the menu items and each menu item has like a sub menu. So if we go to contacts here, we'll enter into the contact section of Active Campaign, and you'll see there's other options like scoring, managing tags, exclusions, list cleanup, manage organizations, manage tasks, database sync. And throughout the course, we're gonna go through a bunch of these options. We probably won't hit them all, but we'll hit the important ones so that you can get the most out of your Active Campaign account. So there's contacts, then you go into campaigns, and this is where you'd send the one-off emails. So inside of campaigns, we get a little tutorial, and we're gonna close that. Then we got templates, message variables, view archive. Come on down, we got automations now. And then we got automations, manage messages, automation map, etc. I'm not gonna go through all these because again, we're gonna go through them as we progress through the course. But I basically just wanted to show you inside of each menu item, there's a sub menu, right? So pretty self-explanatory, simple stuff. And then we come on down here to apps. And so these are all the applications that integrate with Active Campaign. So you see there's a wide variety of applications and really most of them aren't like a native integration with Active Campaign. They're gonna tell you to go use Zapier up here to integrate with these other tools. But Zapier is really powerful and we're gonna have a lesson on it later on. So we will be checking it out. So don't worry about that. Then we have our account settings and we're gonna come back to this in just a few minutes because there's some advanced settings we wanna go ahead and set up. 
And then we have unlock features. And the reason I'm seeing that is because I'm in a trial account. And usually it brings me to the billing information, but for some reason it is not right now. So to go to billing, you click on your profile, you go to billing and upgrade, support, or log out. And also to get support, you can also click help right here. So their help is pretty good. They're pretty responsive. It is like a live chat. So if you do have an issue, I definitely recommend reaching out to Active Campaign for support. They're, again, they're quick, they're good, they're solid. And that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how the Active Campaign dashboard kind of flows. And we're gonna spend a lot of time in it, obviously. So you're gonna see it in great detail. In this video, we're gonna discuss some of the basic settings that you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and set up inside of your Active Campaign account as soon as possible. So let's get into it. First things first, come over to settings. And the first thing you wanna go ahead and do is set up an address. Now, in order to send emails, you have to have a actual physical address for your emails. Uh, this is part of the law. It's like the Can Spam Act of 2008 or something like that. Might be 2003, whatever. You have to have a physical address on your emails. Just like you send a, a letter in the mail, you have to have a physical address on email. So we'll set that up right away so that way we don't have to worry about it later on. So add an address and crazy I media LLC PO box 2871 Chester VA 23831 add address so there we go, I have my address set up. Very simple, self-explanatory, et cetera. And so the next thing we wanna go ahead and do is set up our tracking. So this way we can track people as they browse our website. So site tracking, we wanna go ahead and turn that on. And it says your site tracking has not been used recently. Make sure you have added the code to your site and the domain is whitelisted, is domain to the whitelist. All right, so come on down here. We have no domains on our whitelist. And so what whitelisting does is basically it lets ActiveCampaign know that it's okay to track people on your website. So we wanna go ahead and add our domain. So I'll just do crazyimarketing.com. We got include all web pages, or you can go ahead and untick that box if you want to. I don't know why you would, but you could, I guess, if you need to. We'll go ahead and click add. So all pages on crazyimarketing.com, we can go ahead and track and then it gives us our tracking code right here. So what we need to do is copy and paste the tracking code into the footer of your site. So depending on what content management system or website you're using, so if you're using WordPress or ClickFunnels or Kartra or some other website service, you're gonna need to paste this code in the footer of that service. Now, if you have any issues adding this code to your website, please leave a comment down below with the service that you're using, and I'll go ahead and create some instructions to help you get it set up so that way you can track people on your website. So that's site tracking, and you definitely wanna have that set up. And then the next thing you probably wanna set up is under the advanced section, and this is for email deliverability. So there's a couple of options here. We have Active Campaign manages deliverability and authentication for me, and then there's I will manage my own email authentication. So the primary benefit of managing your own email authentication is that it can increase deliverability rates to people's inboxes. So instead of going to spam or the promotions tab or something like that, like your emails will actually wind up in the inbox so people will open them, read them, click on them, buy your stuff, etc. So it is preferred for you to manage your own email authentication. Now it is kind of complex to set up. You do have to edit your DNS records so if you're not familiar with how to do that, this could be a painstaking process, but if you're familiar with editing your DNS records, you can go ahead and set this up. Now as a caveat to that, managing your own email authentication could hurt your deliverability. Like if you spam people or you get a lot of complaints and your domain gets blacklisted, like all your emails are gonna wind up going to spam or the promotions tab or somewhere where they're not being delivered, right? So if you are managing your own email authentication, make sure that you're sending good quality, clean emails all the time. You do not wanna wind up on a domain blacklist somewhere because that could really cripple your business. Now, if you don't know how to edit DNS records or it sounds complicated or your emails you know, might be borderline, you know, kinda spammy type emails or something like that, I recommend you go with Active Campaign Manages Deliverability and Authentication for me. The deliverability is still very solid, so it's still a viable option. And it's actually what I'm gonna be using for this course right here. So if this is complicated to you, go ahead and go with the Active Campaign Manages It 
and you can always upgrade it later on if you need to. So that's what I wanted to cover in this video. We set up an address. We also went and talked about setting up your tracking code where you want to install it on every single page of your website. And then we also talked about the advanced settings for email deliverability and trying to get those emails inside of the inbox. So now let's go ahead and hit save settings. And that's it for this video. Alrighty, so I hope you enjoyed the training. Now I have a quick special offer for you. So if you want a digital copy as well as an audio copy of my book here, as well as 20 pre-written emails to make your email copywriting a piece of cake. And I also have a seven figure funnel. It's the first funnel that I built that generated over seven figures of revenue for a small business. And the funnel includes a course on how to set it up and also how to actually sell that funnel to small businesses. So if you're interested in starting a digital marketing agency, that course and that funnel are, are an ideal option for you and there's a bunch of other benefits and stuff bonuses and stuff anyway link in the description down below or there's going to be a little button probably up here in the video if you're interested in checking it out yeah just just check it out if you're interested um and other than that i hope you have a great rest of the day